<sighs> well, considering that was our first ever attempt at doing this, I don't think we've done too bad. And look at that. Oh, that is very satisfying to see. So, bit of an update, it is... I should have thought of this ahead of time. Right, take two. Morning. It's a... Uh, it's cold on this morning. It's... Uh, what day is it? Wednesday. Wednesday the something of April. And now uh, we're really early. We're at the of seven. I've got a bit of uh, fiddling around to do before the concrete comes. The concrete is due between 10 and 1. Um, Alex just putting the plugs back in. I'm trying to, I don't know which one goes where. Alright. <laughs> yeah, all the um, the shutters have been cut down now. So we can get all our little plugs back in and get all the staling ready. And then it's just um, a few other little jobs we can catch up on while waiting. It's our first piece. Got that. They're all cut ready to go in, we just need to drop them in. Just hope all these little um, spaces hold when the wet wheelbarrows are going over the top of them. That's the bit I'm worried about. And keeping it level. We're going to have to use the laser level on this because we can't tamp across. We can tamp across from probably halfway across. Well, we could have done if we had a tamp, but. That last one put up a fight, but there we go. They're all back in. And I've managed to get the Visqueen quite nice and tight up again. So, obviously, Dad's already give you the rundown and you got the gist of what we need to do. That, all over. And, did you say we're cutting down them, uh, sills? Oh yeah, we're going to cut them off the rips and ship them off. There you go, go get the gold Bosch out and cut that off, just so we've got... All right, so yeah, may as well just get rid of them. Makes it easier for us to get this uh, concrete in and tamped properly then, so. so. There we go, we'll, uh, I think we'll get that done first and then we'll get all this uh, steel set up. We've got, got till 10 before they come, so we'll just get it done. If we've got to wait a bit, we've got to wait a bit. It's better to wait instead of them being on top of we'll us. We'll tighten the vanel. Yeah. We've got um, I've got to bring all the scaffolding and the trestles so we need to clear them and we to get, get everything in. So yeah, we'll uh, I'll go grab that, that saw and we'll get this done. So there you have it, that's one done. So just one more to do and then onto them steels.
Well, considering that was our first ever attempt at doing this, I don't think we've done too bad. Do you? Nope. Your hat's on skew if again. Your hat's on skew if again. I it, it. Yeah, it was a bit, a bit of a grueling task, but it's done. We've got, <clears throat> obviously, it's all been cut accordingly. All the feet castles are in. And uh, we've also, we've tied it in with the wire as well. So all that ain't going anywhere. So we're ready. We're ready for the steel people. Not steel people. We're ready for the concrete people. So now well, we're just gonna uh, get ourselves prepped up for it, get the get the stuff ready. Laser level set up. Just gonna get some ramps set up here now so they can dump it in easier without flattening the castles. And get our wellies on. Mm. Right. We're as ready as we can be, aren't we? Yeah. Doors are covered for splashes. Cut to a clip of. Yeah. The reason why the reason why we've got that is because of this. Spadoosh. Yeah. We've got some boards down for to take the waste of the wheelbarrows. I'm gonna try and get them to tip either side and then we'll bring the board out. And that side, we can always have them tipping in from that side and round the edge as well. Um, I think it's about 2.6, so it's going to be quite a quite a lot of barrows going in there. We just need them to not uh, fill the wheelbarrows. <laughs> that's the thing with the steel. It's alright if you've got a concrete uh, pump, but that's just not in the budget of concrete pump. That's it. Yeah. What time's it? Uh, five past nine. Is that all? Oh yeah. Might as well have a quick break while I've got my drink. I was gonna say we'll have a quick break now. Then you know, we'll get get the stuff sorted. So then when they come, we're ready then. There you go. Sorted. Let's go. Right. So quick update. It is quarter past eleven. Still no sign of the concrete yet, but they said from ten to three. So from ten till three. From ten to three. Um. So. We've just been trying to make ourselves busy. We've uh, done a bit of tidying up. Usually when patience is required, tidying up comes in. So, we've, well we, Dad has uh, made a nice clearing out of this garage now so it's a bit more organized. And I'll take you over here. Oh, he's also polished out the van a little bit. And uh, it's always nice to have a uh, tidy van. Soul cleansing. You know, it's always cleansing to uh, have a good tidy up every now and then. Just get, in there, just get stuff organised, so that's what we've been doing while I've been waiting. So, still going to wait, obviously, not really much else we can do. And just going to try and do whatever else we can. Going to um, get getting some water ready for cleaning up. And I think uh, we may as well get ready for the intermediate profile, because we're going to need that, so may as well get that set up. Um, yeah, I'm just, just keep trying to find something to do. Oh, so, another update, it is five to one. Supposed to be here. The, the deadline is five minutes, so still oh, about two minutes after I just made that video. Heart rate's going now. I'm just saying that wagon pulls it. It's arrived, so just in time as well. <laughs> but uh, yeah, so now we're gonna see how this gets on. Yeah. Yeah. I'll get you set up now, so we can uh, so you can watch us put this in like this for the first time.
Bruno. 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 And there you have it. It's always nice when the uh, once the slab goes in. So just to get to pay for it. Oh yeah. Expensive concrete now. <laughs> Wait a minute. And then those two good lads then. They kept it kept it coming nice and steady, didn't overwhelm me. Yeah. Let me some tools. Yeah, I've got that. So a uh, big thank you, Trolley Concrete. Yeah. So now because they are the tiring bit, we've got to get that all tamped quick before the sun gets on. Get it all tamped, yeah. So We'll, uh, we'll just stick you on time lapse to that because you know the song and dance. So we'll get you up in a nice angle and get you set up, and then after yeah, that, get nice and high. Yeah. Just get on this time lapse. So and then after that, it's uh, all the stuff back to the third one. Right. So we'll see you in a sec. It's fetching Cinderella his uh, slippers. There they go. Twenty concrete. Unfortunately, they've got to back out. Big wagons can't turn around, so they've got to drive up to where those white houses are. 
and take, take back back out there. But yeah, just said to Alex that was quick. That's three cube, and they were here what half an hour. Yeah. They finished pouring ten minutes ago, didn't they? Oh, yeah. They've cleaned up. We've got a little bit to do, but they've cleaned up behind themselves, and they've gone. I'm just got to go and pay now. But that was in in half an hour. Really good. That really helpful, and it, it helps have the boards over the steel. Oh, so get this paid for now and then I'm, I'm off into the and start get this level through get it as flat as I can so see you in a bit I said another barrel full and the, the young lad said the hang, hang fire looks about right that really bloody right to the nearest stone absolutely brilliant so get this child up now I don't mind using the bucket child this is really cheap six foot level comes in it's nice and light
There we go. Got a little bit to go over with the, uh, with the float. That is a massive, massive relief. I knew it was going to be difficult not being able to tamp it from wall to wall. I used to do them all the time when we did conservatories, but you were rushing, it was never right. But um, took, took our time on that. When it went in, it went into a laser level. Lads took the time for us. And um, yeah, down to the to the last grain of sand. Perfect spot on. But um, yeah, it's gonna have a separate floor to the house because it's gonna have it's gonna have bifolds in there and there. So we're still gonna have a threshold between the two floors so it didn't have to run through perfect, which is a big relief. I think the best thing to do when it's like this, if you do that, is keep it slightly low so it can be leveled. You don't want it high. Um, yeah, so it's just a matter of going around the edge, having a clean up and um, taking these trench block back and uh, swapping them for some bricks because we're a few, few bricks short because we've used too many below ground. Oh yeah, clean up the brickwork too. So I'll do a little outro at the end when we get to when it's all done. See you in a bit. And look at that. Oh, that is very satisfying to see. It's taken ages, it feels like, to get that in. And then it's always all your hard work buried then. It doesn't look like all that, all those days work has gone into that, but we're finished. Let's give you another look. So, Dad's been busy away, tamping in there, floating it. And it looks bloody lovely. So, big thanks again to Charlie Concrete for getting us the concrete. And thank you to Dad. He's uh, just given a one final little wash over. But uh, yeah, so that is the slab ready. So tomorrow it's just get here, get a mix on, and get some bricks down. So thank you very much for watching. Hope you enjoyed the video. Be sure to like and comment. And if you're new to the channel, feel free to subscribe and hit that bell. It's always a massive help and we greatly appreciate it. This has been Brooklyn with Steve and Alex, and we'll see you in the next video.